Welcome everybody to Super Gamecast Bros. I am Tad Ryzen, and to my left, the Boy Wonder of Gaming, Robin Ryzen, and the Teach Education Gaming Man himself, Kyle Ryzen. How are we doing? Uh, this is uh, another episode. <laughs> episode two. <laughs> uh, it's slow, man. I don't know why this was the week we picked. I know that our schedule's getting really like. <laughs> meet up here for a while, but yikes. Uh, what a great ending, I think, to um, 2017 with um, even um, some great games coming out there, I think, right at the end. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't say amazing games, but I would say great games. Um, but uh, what I guess you know, we should start like we always do. What are, what are we currently playing? I'm playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed when I'm you know taking a break from you're hitting the <laughs> virtual racetrack. And so how, how do you like it compared to the other Assassin's Creed games? Uh, it's, it is it is a little different with the, the fighting system. Um, yeah. I've noticed it's, a, it's blocking doesn't do anything at all anymore. It's just all attack, attack, a dodge. Is it is it like the kind of like the older like uh, Lord of the Ring games, where it's more kind of like hack hack and slash combos and stuff like that, or? Um. Yeah. Not really more combos because I don't. I've never really yeah. noticed any combos. You kind of build up energy to do like one special move to maybe knock out a opponent, but really, I found all the blocking completely how, completely useless. How how far how far have you gotten? Because I'm playing it too. Like, uh, like what what level are you are you at? I'm twenty. Twenty, okay. I'm like thirteen. So I I would probably say I'm 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 at least halfway through. Yeah, I think. But I visually, I think it's stunning. I I actually there's even though I, I really despise Assassin's Creed games and I've tried. Really, I've re dude, I've really, <laughs> really? tried. So I remember because I was managing a GameStop um, did you, did when you, the first one came you, out. Did you only play the first one? Terrible! What an yeah. awful game. The first, the first one's the so, worst. Okay, so yes. here, here, hold on. Here's my Assassin's Creed experience. Play the first one when it came you out. Have day to play one, the second one, went you know was managing GameStop. Came home that night, played it. What an other piece of garbage. Yeah. God. And then, and then actually years later, literally meaning like just a few months ago, um, I on Games of Gold, I got Assassin's Creed three. And I went ahead and I was like, eh. you know, I'll try it. I actually, so I, re no, 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 I actually really enjoyed it. First time, I was three, like, three, wow. Three was decent. It's, it's a it good has a good game, story. But compared to all the other ones, I can forget about three. Yeah. Three was good. If you played, you really, they sh you should have played the second one. Because I, I had a yes. very similar experience to you. Because I played the first one uh, from a friend and I didn't care for it. And then years later, I was like, well, maybe. I played the first one. I didn't care for it. Maybe I can just play the second one, and the second one blew me away. The really? the, the whole Ezio trilogy, where it's like two Brotherhood and I think Revelations. Those three games back to back are oh, great. Those three of them Revelations. Like there's there's like in betweens between the numbers. Mm. It doesn't matter. The games are terrible. <laughs> so no. So I started playing three. I actually really enjoy the story. Combats. I'm I'm just okay on the combat. Really. Yeah. Um, I actually, that's actually what everybody says they love. That's the thing I actually like the least. Um, I think the stories are actually really good, but my issue with three was, is that, um, I got about, I'd say a quarter way through the game and then there was just some bug in the game to where when you would hit a cutscene, yes. there was no, there was no, um, there was yeah. no VO. So people walk around, you see them talking, and they're like, "I'm like nobody's saying anything," and I'm so story driven with games that just ruined it. So I just stopped that's, playing. That that that's the main complaint about three, and why three is, yeah. has gotten so many negative reviews is because of that. But I wouldn't, I would honestly not hold your judgment to the series based mm -hmm. on the first one and the third one. You know which one I really like, and you're gonna laugh at me because it's the one that probably has the worst review is uh, Chronicles China. I and actually, I don't and <laughs> and I don't like side scrollers really. I actually have I not, it. I've not played that one. I think it got about seventy five percent uh through the game and then I just hit a wall to where I just couldn't beat like I couldn't get to a certain spot and just kept dying. I was I, I gotta move on. It's too many games. Yeah. Way too many games. What are you what are you playing? Um console wise, I'm strictly Assassin's Creed Origins right now. Jeez. But um, with how busy I've been, I've only been able to put in a couple hours per week. 
So I've been I, kind of slacking right now. I, I've I've been there too. Um, I've actually I have put Fallout Three back into the console. Um, <laughs> it is take my life. It's I'm already about probably 15 more hours in the other night and I, I haven't had a lot of time so the other night though i made sure like i'm like all right i'm gonna get home early i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna sit down a game and about two hours and i spent two hours doing something and i'm like man i don't remember how to do this certain quest so uh i have the the strategy guy and i look through i'm like oh that's how you do it well there's there's a full two hours i'm just, i'm gonna go back to the where i started from two hours ago <laughs> Just so I can do this one thing to progress faster. And I'm just... And so that whole night of gaming was wasted. I actually deleted the saves just to make sure I don't... What? Miss, yes. I have to make sure I start at that point. He didn't, he didn't get that platinum. He didn't get that platinum. Uh, well, first of all, it's Xbox. I there's achievements. I can't, I can't get on you, you didn't about get that playing... Achievement. I can't get on you about playing Fallout 3 again. Well, How, how many times do you think you've played through it? Fellow three? Yeah. Are we talking about like the main quest? Yeah. How many times? Yeah. This is probably my fourth, I think. Yeah. My fourth I've, go through. I've played through it twice. I think all the way through. It doesn't take that long to get to the main quest, though. Like if you just if you just stick to the main quest, do no side missions. It's, oh, it yeah. takes maybe ten. No, probably like twenty hours. Yeah. But I mean, if you do all everything, the, all the side quest, yeah. That's, I mean, that's I think the most problem. time I put in, I I put in over three hundred hours. <laughs> that was my first my first run through each 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 run through of the I would say the main three so three New Vegas and four mm -hmm. I put over three hundred hours in my first go through my because a lot I I get I get into a room and I start at one corner make my way around of course there's monsters coming at me you're shooting and killing them but I literally go okay what's in here okay what's in here oh I'm f I have I have too much uh, loot on me got to go back to my my storage area drop it all off I oh, you know, see I never do that. When I, whenever I get over, it. whenever I get overconfident, I go, okay, what, what do I, don't I need? <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, actually, no. It's if if I got rid of everything I didn't need, I just throw away a lot. But I, I always hang on to things that I can sell and get money in return for. You you fast travel. You can just pop back. Or what you do is you find a dump zone within that area, knowing that once you get to a place where you can fast travel, you just come back real quick, grab, and go back again. Yeah, just throw it away. Because, no, because then <laughs> then you can buy really good loot in the stores, and it's it like, helps the economy. Fallout like, 3 it's, has it's, a really good economy. It's like a virtual littering. Just throw it. Just throw it the ground. <laughs> Isn't it already a wasteland? <laughs> I mean, my, my soul hurts right now. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Do you guys you guys have any fun anything fun coming up? Any events? Um, not not with my time schedule. No. You do anything fun? Well, I had the uh, iRacing mock 24 hour race. Um, and you you don't stream that currently, right? When not you currently, uh, which is okay because that was a disaster. So <laughs> get everyone on Twitch laughing at you. Or, yeah. trying to, or you could have got a squad and they all could have like boxed you in and helped you to win. No, they would. They just would have heard me yelling at all the idiots on the, on the, on the track. And, and, Do you, now, when, way. when you when people are playing the iRacing game, are a lot of people wearing uh, headsets and communicating, like talking or talking uh, smack at all, or no? Talking smack, no. Um, it's usually a good group. I would say probably half of the people in each race probably have a, a mic. Um, I feel like it'd be a bunch of European twelve-year-olds. It's uh, it's actually more adults. Really? Yeah. Surprisingly, it's more. It's I would I I hear more That's adults. Forza. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the the race was a uh, kind of a kind of a disaster. But I'm gonna try again, maybe through Project Cars. Actually, race with um a better lineup of cars instead of uh. Some Miatas, Kias, and Mustangs. <laughs> so, you're uh, they actually they just um, I don't know if they released it. But they they announced that that new uh, Kia that's that's has supposed to have like some supercharged engine and that's pretty affordable. But then like apparently like it's it's for like it's like the poor man's race car almost, <laughs> and it's just I just see that Kia word. I'm like. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've I've, had, I've, had, I've done my time with Kia, and I don't want another your, one. Your your parts start falling apart. You actually drive faster because the car's lighter <laughs> at this point. 
Um, so let's hear. Let's dig into the news. Uh, we've got eight things here on the report. Uh, slow. I mean, yeah. slow January. Oh, I felt like I was digging for. So there's like videos as I'm going online. There's like trailers for all these new things, which are great, but like nothing like new. Yeah, you know, like nothing really new. It's just like, hey, the city has got a new trailer. They can punch. And, and like, or just it's something. It's something just not. But it's it's straight like the, there's little news out, but there's a lot of little things I'm excited about though. All right, well, let's let's dig into it. So there's been a big rumor going around that there's going to be a new DMC. Are, are you yes. guys big in the Devil May Cry? I'm I, I'm very lukewarm about it. I pay. I played very little of it. Do you do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I can take early, but it's it's you see more. I'm I'm really weird about it because I I do like story driven games and the story for Devil only, May Cry. I only played one, a little um, bit of four. I like I feel like the story could be a lot better. Yeah, but I go out. And I I've played every single one. I okay. did, I watched actually I watched the anime towards it, uh, and I thought mm-hmm. that was really good. It follows the story of or. Kind of like it's like bits and pieces of one, but then there's like the detect, like there's the also like detective thing on top of it. But there's a lot of the um, action elements that happen in mm-hmm. the game that are like, oh, that's why they're going out and doing that in the game. And they exp- like yeah. they kind of elaborate on in the show. There's, there's actually, when I was in high school, um, there were two Devil May Cry novels that I actually went out and bought and read. Were they, were they mangas? You gotta read them backwards? No, it was like. Uh, like chapter novels, really, huh. and they were actually really good. <laughs> I don't. Well, the I thought they were better than the video game. Oh wow! I thought so. Okay. I'm not going to even attempt to say this gentleman's name, uh, but apparently he was one of the uh, lead directors on DMC Five. This guy's name? Yeah, I'm guessing it's Hideki Kayami. Son. That's how I'd say it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this guy went to Twitter and basically said that, because it's been rumored for a long time, and it's apparently the rumors too is that it's going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive, which I think would be uh, really good for the brand. Um, I mean, they've got a lot of exclusives already. Yeah. Um, I, re- I really would like to see Xbox jump on something like this, <laughs> because I mean that that's I think that would help them. But that being said, um, but apparently it looks like they're going to be doing a full overhaul Possibly like God of War. Um, is yeah. that something you guys want to see? And it looks like even the, um, as he says here on Twitter, um, instead of being an anime style hack and slash, maybe Capcom will turn DMC5 into a realistic cinematic action game, which to me sounds a lot better. Yes. And maybe I'm just getting yeah. a lot older and I prefer that. I like my game shorter. Yep. Uh, except for Fallout. Uh, that's, I, I think that would be more preferable. Personally, I, yes. like, I like I like the games longer. I I I prefer open worlds. I just don't have time for them. That's I, that's my biggest thing. I really do like open worlds. Though. I I love open world games. I love all the side quests, as long as the side quests are like. Wait, wait, I feel like I'm doing something. I have those not, stupid not like, side quests. Like like oh, Aaron. oh yeah, go 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 save go my chickens. <laughs> I lost my favorite chicken and I need it back. <laughs> That's a lot of Final Fantasy fifteen. Uh-huh. There's uh there's there's a mission in Final Fantasy or not Final Fantasy, uh uh Fallout Four to where basically you have to go like save a cat. It's it's a really small side thing. And it actually does have some context to it. Yeah. Um I can't remember what it is now, but you have to you have to go like find a cat or something. I remember like when the mission started, I'm like are we being serious? But you get some like gun out of it, or something. You get something out of it that's ends up being beneficial. You're like, oh, okay, this makes sense now. There was there was something like that in The Witcher. I had to go. Really? I had to go save it. I think it was a goat. A goat. <laughs> but it, but it also introduced uh, a character. Okay, I don't know. Have, have you guys played a lot of Final Fantasy 15? No, I haven't played it at all. Like, there's there's a side. What was the last Final Fantasy you guys played? Real quick. It was. I want to say uh, like the like newer ones. Like, what was the last one? Like, even if you recently played six, I'm saying like, what is the newest current one you've played? Fifteen. I've dabbled with fifteen. I dabbled with thirteen. I was. I want to say it was thirteen. 12, I think, actually, even twelve. I dabbled with ten. Ten's probably the last one I really sat down. Yeah. I was like, I'm digging in the. Thirteen was the last one I, I I sat down and played. Did you I, enjoy it? 
I did, and then I got the PlayStation 4, and then that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played a lot of 13, but I just kept hitting a lot of walls. I don't, I don't know if I, I just got wasn't, stuck. Yeah. I don't know if I was just wasn't good at it at the time. I want to go back and try it again. I do, too, because I, just... I felt like I've... Completely. They just put them out of all of them on uh, Steam too. Did There's they? all the 13s, and so I, I just because they had a they had a sale, and the games were like I think five or seven bucks, so I bought the whole, the whole oh. series, hope, hoping the which I probably never will, um, but hoping to go through and. Maybe it's still on sale. Hopefully, but there's but there's there's a side quest so. in 15 where you have to go and save this guy's farm from like wolves eating his crops. Wolf eating crops. Yeah. <sighs> um. So, but yeah, are you? So, but are you? I mean, are you guys excited to get another DMC though? I if I, if it's cinematic, yes. Do you want a reboot? No. Do you want a continuation of what we already have? Because we the last the the last one was already kind of a reboot. Yeah, and it seems like they might that's be. Why, that's why it'd be pointless. Re rebooting. And a lot of people didn't like it, but appa- apparently it was. Good though. It I mean, was, it was it was Ninja Ninja it was, Theory who made Hellblade. It it was fun. Was it because I haven't played it? I'll if the, another one is going to come out, I like to go back and replay the last With, one. With what's his name, Dante? Yeah, I, the, I I think I'd rather have Dante and not the not the Sun Dante, like whatever the new kid's name is. Well, the 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 latest the just like the DMC one that came out is. Um, just a, I don't it like no tie to the past games. It's just oh really? Brand brand new. I thought I thought that that character was like son to Dante. I don't think I don't think he was. I don't, know. They, I, I don't remember them saying that Can't or hinting come. that in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese games, love them. Um, so speaking that, of Final Fantasy, yes, uh, yeah, and actually, yeah. Speaking, uh, did you guys did you guys see the trailer? You, you guys know this was recently just came to PlayStation Four, right? Yes. Yeah. And did, did you guys get it? I say I got it, but I haven't played it yet. I have not gotten it. I've been too busy playing Assassin's Creed, iRacing, Project Cars. That's kind of what happens, yeah. Um, I, I, I think I'll probably get it eventually after I beat um, a Assassin's Creed. I, I haven't bought it. Want to? I probably will in the next month or two. We, uh, for PC, or for PS4. PS4. Yeah. Most likely PS4, yeah, for me too. I got, I actually bought the, the collectors because I thought it actually looked really cool because you get the little judge uh, bust in there. Mm-hmm. And I was really surprised because they're all like plastic. Uh, what, did you, what did you expect it to be? PS4. Real Marvel <laughs> no, car no. from a block. That's how you know it's a slow week when we're, we're, uh, we're talking about games that have already already been, that, already come out but are just coming to another console. 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, and that's my thing, too. Like, uh, as much, uh, actually, I was kind of excited about it, and then I bought it, and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta play other stuff, and I put it aside. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anybody's asking for this. Well, I'm really excited that it's out, because I, I played a lot of 12. I got about halfway through it, and never beat it. Do so you, I'd like to go back and beat it. Is, it. is it your favorite Final Fantasy, or no? 12? It's not. I haven't. Um, It was fun. Do you I'm guys do you guys have favorite. a favorite? Are you? I don't know how how avid of a Final Fantasy fan. I've I've played a few. Um, ten is probably the furthest. I haven't beaten any of them, but ten is probably the furthest I've gone in any of them, and, and that would ten, probably be my ten's favorite. my favorite. Yeah, ten's my favorite. I know people jump on seven, and actually, my second favorite would be eight, and I get to stare at everybody going, "Why would you pick yeah. ten and eight? But um, I think eight commercial was really successful because of seven. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I like eight better than seven, um, pe- people in yeah. seven was right time, right place. Uh, yeah. You know, it was it was close to launch of the PlayStation One, it and at least I believe so, and it just came in strong. There was no game like it at the time. No, and I like the fact that it was almost a N sixty four game. Yeah. Yeah. Was it really? Mm-hmm. It was originally because remember they had one through one through six was made on uh, Nintendo products. Yeah. And uh, they started making uh, a, a different version of, of seven on 
I mean, obviously this is when development kits of N64 were out. Yeah. But they had gone to Nintendo and said, hey, this is becoming really expensive to make because we want to make this huge game and we want to update the graphics a lot. They were supposed to kind of look like, a, a, I guess, maybe a Super Mario 64. Um, and, and they couldn't because of how much the cartridges were costing. It would have had to been like two or three cartridges, which a lot of those games were already 60 to to $100 per yeah. cartridge. Um, unless you were just like a normal like Madden, and then would be 50, but, uh, Nintendo couldn't do it. So they, their contract was going to be up soon and they just lightly like stepped away and they went to PlayStation and Sony's like, what do we need? And actually gave them cause they, they published the game. Mm-hmm. So Sony was giving them money to make the game. Wow. So, which is kind of a funny little, uh, cause the whole Nintendo screwing. No, Sony no, back in but, the day. um, um, Every once in a while, I'll I'll think about this. Being a kid and seeing the prices of games in the stores, mm-hmm. they really have not gone up Mm-mm. a lot, which is fantastic. Yeah. And with if you, if, you, is... if you think about how games are today to how they were back then, you know. Yeah. Well, do you guys? Do you ever guys look at like um, just because I like business and numbers and stuff? Do you guys ever look at like uh, like the prices of old consoles and like the inflation? Because oh, yeah. Atari 2600 was, I think, $299. Wow. And and that came out in $77. $299. So that would have been probably six dollars $700 now? Yeah. Uh, we're going to find out, though. I, I remember I saw a chart. Uh, believe it or not, I have done math like that. That's awesome. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> but games, consoles are still kind of around that price point. I mean, uh-huh. that's that's when, when everybody bitched that the Xbox One X was $500. I'm like, that's... It's not that what you're getting and what you're paying isn't yeah. bad. Four hundred bucks for a PlayStation Four Pro is really good. Oh, it no. is it the right. th- oh god thirteen hundred. <laughs> oh good lord! I don't oh, even. Oh man, that's that, that's a. Uh... But so now this is. Oh. But but to think about though, this is why these publishers are also. I think we're they're having the attack on microtransactions and. I really wish there was a company that had the balls, though, to say, our game's $70. And actually, you know who the company who I think can do that is CD Projekt Red. I have paid a game that was 70 bucks. Really? Well, that, that's, not, that's not some sort of gold edition. No. What was it? Like, it's the normal version, $70. What was it? It was a WRC6 World Rally Championship. Seventy bucks. Well, did you have to import, or was that just that's just what it cost? That's what it just that's what it just cost. And I, I I I don't know who the publisher is for that, but I I give them a lot of props for saying our game is worth this. I I was originally not happy about the price, but you know me, and with race cars and racing series, if I see it, and I gotta play it. It starts itching. Was it, was it worth the seventy bucks? No, it wasn't. Um, but just wanting to play it that bad and having to wait because the game, the game got released because uh, WR World Rally is not popular here in America really no, at that's, all. That's a European title, really. It is, and it got released over in Europe months, or not like weeks, months before uh, North America. Wow. Um, and I was just I was itching to play it, and I had to play it, and. It was yeah, it was it was good. Um, Seventy bucks. No, I probably should have waited because it eventually did drop in price. But I had this vision that like across the street from Daytona, they should have like a real trendy shop to where all they sell is nothing but jackets and patches, <laughs> <laughs> and you have nothing but race car and like punk rock fans going in there like digging through <laughs> barrels like ooh motor oil, <laughs> oh misfits <laughs> like. Um, but yeah, really, games. Because uh, think about it, uh, they they raised about ten dollars in price, um, jumping like your normal normal yeah. MSRP prices um, from PlayStation Two uh, generation to PlayStation Three generation. So that generation, uh, we started paying about ten extra dollars, mm-hmm. and then this gener- now even though we had DLC and microtransactions here, once we got into PS4 and Xbox One. That's where it really became basically because mobile came right in the middle as a 
yeah. as a big platform. And then they really realized that they could capitalize off it. And I think consoles saw that they were losing... They were gaining popularity, but losing profit. Because things were, you know, things games are more engines, 60 frames per second. They're now in 4K, and natively too now, for that matter. I mean, they have been on PC for a little bit longer, but now everybody's starting to catch up. And yeah. so it's now at a point to where games are more, sometimes more expensive than movies to make. And... Yeah. And they're making them annualized, like Call of Duty and Assassins is now, seems like it's going to be about every two years. But that's, I mean, so like, you know, I, when somebody looks at me and could could say like Witcher or Fallout, the next one could be anywhere from $70 to $100. There's a part of me that, you know, I turn my eye at it, but I'm also okay because I know, not that I'm judging it by how big the game is, but I know the quality of the game. Yeah. And those both those companies, uh, I, even though I love Bethesda, I'm going to say I think the CD Projekt Red does a better job of making a game, mm-hmm. um, even though I prefer Fallout. Um, I, I think their quality of game is worth $100. So uh, the next one, which I figured out about this yesterday, maybe it actually got announced yesterday, but Detective Pikachu is coming to the West. Yes. Be- I, I, <laughs> Are you I, really? <laughs> yes. Did you watch the trailer? Yes, I did. So, okay, so I, I, I heard about this game a couple weeks ago. This is why he's buying a 3DS. Saw saw that it was uh, just in Japan. I was like, oh, or it was only going to be released in Japan. I was like, okay, whatever. It's Detective Pikachu. I could care less. But then I saw uh, it was getting a Western release. And I was like, okay, I'll watch the trailer. I saw the trailer. And now you have to play it. One, well, first, I heard in Japan that it was Pikachu was going to talk, which I was kind of drawn off by. Yeah. But then I heard him talk in the trailer, and I was like, he talks like a 40-year-old, like... He sounds like a grumpy, like, (laughs) Peter Boyle kind of like, hey, yo, we're going to waste our time and go solve this mystery. But I don't know, like, as, as the trailer went... I, I laughed a few times. I got caught up in the action, and now like I, I gotta play it. <laughs> gotta play it. I mean, actually, I actually don't think because you hear it and you're like, "What the hell?" And actually, I almost kind of wish it was the sillier Pokemon because when it, the trailer, did you watch the trailer? I did. I did. How it has like the cute little the Pika Pika Pikachu kind of. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, "Oh, this is so wonderful!" And like, and then all of a sudden, like the Grandpa Pikachu walks up. I love how he wears. Hey, the you don't think it was me? Okay, the hat is adorable. So apparently there's a giant amiibo coming out, too. Which nobody wants or needs, which everyone will buy. Um, except for me. I really don't like amiibos. I'm I did hoping, get tricked into buying one. I'm hoping for a good story. It was Zelda. I'm hoping I, I need for a good Skyrim. story. I hope it is. Actually, it doesn't look terrible. No. Um, I like that it's... It, I think some of the Professor Layton guys are in on this game, yeah. which is another detective-type game. I've, I've which played, the, like, the first two or three. I played the first, not all the way through, but I played a little bit. It was a good game. Mm-hmm. If they're making this, I'm sure this will be great. It's just going to be uh, because the the little boy's name is Tim, I think, and I guess his father goes missing, and then him and Pikachu go on this little adventure to go find him. And the Pokemon universe, there's all the other Pokemons that, like, yeah. interact with him, too. It doesn't sound terrible. I don't... As being actually a pretty big Pokemon fan, I don't, it's something I might dabble with, but... It didn't. It didn't strike me as something like I have to play this. Now, here's the kicker. You guys know there's a Western movie coming out. Oh, with Ryan like Reynolds. A Pokemon, movie. Like, like a Pokemon movie. There is a, there is a Detective Pikachu movie with Ryan Reynolds coming out that is being made currently. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was not aware of that. <laughs> Unless I was misinformed on the on the thing I was listening to, which I could have been. That's what I was told. And I, I think this is all just like, let's just capitalize on something. This will probably be a straight to DVD. Well, well, I mean, well I mean, it's Ryan Reynolds. I don't, and a Pokemon movie? Well, I'm not a huge Ryan Reynolds. I don't think he's a bad actor by any means, but like... But he, he, he'd be good for a... He, he could bring some entertainment to a Pokemon movie. Definitely, yeah. He's going to bring the laugh. And he's going to bring to where the parents can be like, oh, thank God, this isn't some stupid the entire time. Yeah. Do you think, I'm, I don't know if it's going to be fully animated, which I think it is, or if it's going to be like live action mixed with like a CG Pikachu. I'd like live action. Mm. It could work. They, uh, no, it, it could, it could. As long as they have the funding, it would look well. It's Nintendo. 
Let's they have the fun- they're building a theme park. They have the funding. Wait, they're building a theme park? Yes, really. Yeah. yeah I didn't know it's that. already under construction. Universal Studios is opening a Nintendo Oh, land. and Universal. Oh, yeah, I knew yeah. that. I thought it was just going to be like Nintendo Land. I would um, probably cry if that was there. <laughs> And go. Big Mario's everywhere. I'm gonna. So I, I because I, I really want to go when that place opens, and I will probably hug every single like stuffed animal person walking around. I really will. It's especially if there's a Yoshi, I'll probably tackle it and hug it. Yoshi. What is everyone's obsession with Yoshi? Have you seen it? It's a giant, adorable dinosaur with little shoes. <laughs> and he goes, Meow. he eats everything. <laughs> is it not adorable? Have you seen Wooly Yoshi? Yoshi. They had a Wooly Yoshi game where he's like man of the wool. Any hoot. But do you think uh, there's going to be a giant Kirby just walking around Universal? Yeah. Yes, now? I don't. I'm not a Kirby <laughs> fan. I've tried to like Kirby over and over. Mm-mm. I Mm-mm. I'm going to try nope. soon. Nope, nope. And that's why you're not getting another Smash Brothers because that same guy makes Kirby games. And guess what? There's a Kirby game coming out. So your next. News story is, and actually, I'm not shocked about this. Uh, Microsoft says the Xbox One outsold the PS4 uh, in the month of December. So, I going wasting my money on crap. I spent a lot of time at Best Buys, mm-hmm. and so th- there was, I mean, there was a plethora of PS4s everywhere. I mean, the people, and I saw a lot of people with PS4s, but I remember yeah. waiting in those lines. And like every other person on Xbox One, they were cheaper. Well, I think the buzz around Xbox One X was there too. Yep. If if you think about it, it said in de- the the article says in December, December's you know Christmas. Christmas well, yeah, is of course. Where we're getting stuff for the kids. Mm-hmm. If you ask a kid if they want an Xbox or a PlayStation, the problem is nine times out of ten they're going Xbox. I, I would probably agree with you because I think Xbox still uh, with the younger audience still capitalizes up from the three hundred and sixty. Mm-hmm. Um, even though PlayStation still technically beat Xbox last gen and is beating them this gen, um, that's not to take any credit away. Xbox is doing, I think, still amazing in sales. I, I love my Xbox. Same. Um, but that being said, though, um, I believe PlayStation did beat them in the month of November, and actually that's a bigger month for sales, even though it's usually just the last few days. That is a bigger month for sales for Chris for your holidays versus I think December. Even though there's a bigger span of December for shopping for that time. Black of year. Friday is in November. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I think but Xbox Xbox Ones were one eighty nine from Black Friday through Christmas, and that was the unless you were going used. They, they did have they had they did have better deals on them, which probably and their games did. too. They really did, and I I applaud Xbox for that. I really do. Yeah, because uh, Forza came out not too long before that. Yeah, it was like a month or two prior to that, I think. And it was up against uh, GT7, which... Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, both, other other than their third-party games, there wasn't any really big first-party games, I feel like, that came out. They had Call, either, they had, they had Call of Duty. That's not first-party. I mean, that's, oh, that's Activision. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I don't... At least off the top of my head, I can't think of any really big uh, first party for either studio or either company Mm -hmm. that came out for them. Um, Because I think the last big one for Xbox was Cuphead, which was, what, October, I think? Um, And then PlayStation, I think GT might have been their last. GT was. Yeah. yeah. Um, So to kind of piggyback off of the uh, Pokemon news from earlier, uh, they they did announce that on January 26th, we're getting another 2DS XL, and it has a giant Pikachu face, as you can see in my paper. Uh, really adorable. Um, but we were talking actually about this before the show got on. Uh, you were really uh, interested in getting a 2 or 3DS. What uh, Does this appeal to you? Especially at the one fifty nine ninety nine price point. Um, I like the idea of the price. I like the, I like the price. Because I've been looking at new... 3ds XLs mm-hmm. and they're around 200, which I mean 200 okay for a handheld, eh. but um, but you, have, you could have a console. I could <laughs> I, I could get a console, but I feel like if I feel like between the DS and the Switch, there's more I'd play on the DS. Yeah, I I, I agree. Now with the Pikachu, 
the it, yes, it's cute, but the entire console's bright Pikachu yellow, and I don't know if I like the idea of just a giant Pikachu face on it. I I would have it probably as a collector's piece. I probably wouldn't play it. Now you you don't own a any DSs? Not a single one. I don't have. Do you ever ever? Is there ever been a want or like a? Not really. Uh the place the PSP. That was the that was it. That was your handheld. That what, now. So why why didn't you make the jump to Vita? Um, probably because uh, hate monger. <laughs> I love Vita. I just I I, I kind of grew out of the you know. PSP. Um, I felt graphically. Um, I mean, I'm sure the 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 newer the newer ones probably more graphically better. But oh, I very just, much so. Yeah. The, um, the Vita, though, I think also too, like the PSP. I think you had a, a pretty wide range of games, uh, especially a lot of adventure games. Uh, the Vita, I feel like, is an indie slash JRPG machine. Yeah. So like it, it's a similar concept, but the support for it was very different. I I actually get more enjoyment from the games on my phone versus. Um, the PSP. See, I, man, which, I, I have is, a hard time with mobile games sometimes. Which is one of the new games I'm playing. I'm finally getting into Banner Saga on the phone. Oh, yeah. man. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. What's, I, I want to hear both opinions on it. Actually, I want to hear yours, actually. About Banner Saga. I've played Banner Saga. Well, the first one. Well, you, you, you were telling me to get into it, and I, I finally did because... Um, was, I, I think you would like it more than me. So far, I'm enjoying it. Um, it just keeps going. It just keeps it just keeps going. I had to put it down. Says the guy that put 300 hours into all the Fallout games. Yeah, because you do things in the game. Whereas Banner Song is just you just like they just march across the street. Should we go over there where you can't see, or over there where you can't see? But, but is, I understand it's that type there, of game. Is there though. a story too? I didn't care for the story that much personally. This, the stories so far, it's been okay. I I've, I've I think been, that's what lost me though. I've been, yeah. I think the 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 thing I've enjoyed the most is the fighting system because I I do. Oh like, yeah, no, no, that was actually really fun. I do like the strategic fighting system. Tactics. The tactics, yeah, I do enjoy that. I I have. Do you ever play like Tactics Ogre or anything on PSP? No. <laughs> tactics Ogre. It's really fun. No, it is. It's very is much it? like Final Fantasy. I, I, it's, I've never it, played it. You know, I didn't mean any interrupt, but no, that's it's, it's a really good game. But, but do you? Yeah, I I doubt I will probably ever get another. Um, Handheld. Handheld, yeah. I, I have both Banner Sagas 1 and 2. I just haven't touched them. I, 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 have, I have both also. I don't know if I'll actually play 2 because I just didn't... Enjoy 1. I, 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 yeah, I mean, when the game started, I enjoyed it, but it's it just way too repetitive. Not just... There's just one... And I, I like story-driven games, but I think... I, I really do like story sometimes more than gameplay. Like if, if a game actually yes. has a great story, but the gameplay is just... Ugh. Like, I actually pushed through the bed. Like, actually, Dino Crisis was that game for me. <laughs> like, I like the weird, like, campy story. Um, uh, you know, but, like, man, that, that tank controls where it's like, aim, turn, aim. Like, it, it was... I mean, it was, what, the Resident Evil 1 people who did it? And, whew... But but it had a really fun, campy story, so I stuck through it, you know? And, um, which I actually, I think I played for the first time on, was on my Vita a few years ago. Um, but I, I mean, I put a few hours into it and I beat it. And, and I got, and I got the, like, the, the Isn't special it? ending, too, that, like, you have to, like, do certain things. And, yeah, I really enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> Isn't it a, uh, PlayStation 1 game? Yes. PlayStation 1 exclusive. And then they actually, the th third one was an, OG Xbox exclusive, and you were like fighting like dinosaurs in space, and it was really kind of dumb. So what's hey, the so? I like dinosaurs. I like space. What's wrong with killing them? <laughs> Are we saying Horizon <laughs> in space? Um. So, yeah or nay on the? No. No on the on the on the 2DS. I'm I'm not. I I don't know oh, if I'll. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When you open it, does it be? Does it? Is it like? Pika. I when no. you open it. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 would probably sell more units. It would probably get in me. Japan. Oh yeah, uh, you're actually we're actually seeing a resurgence. Um, I think of portables in Japan. Um, like numbers are actually climbing a little bit. I think that's because of the Switch. 
Mm -hmm. um, because yeah. mobile took that. And a lot of people, their transportation in Japan is by train. Yeah. So they have extra time to play yeah. Switch or DS or mobile. or And... Um, I could definitely see that if if I lived like in DC, Chicago, or New York, and I had to take the train a lot to work, then I could probably see myself. I agree. Yeah. When, um, when I used to when I used to like bus around um, around town, I would I played a lot of Vita and a lot of uh, I think I had just a DS at the time, but I mean I like lived on those things. Um, but yeah, I mean it's I, I think doing public transportation and having um, a little entertainment device can so. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of wrestling tournaments I go to. We take the school bus. The, this last month, whenever we've had to take a school bus somewhere, as soon as we get on the bus, I take my phone out and I start playing Dragon Quest on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't it, have to sit there and babysit your students? Oh, well, I mean, if, they're if, pretty they, good. If, if they get loud, I just, hey, shut up, <laughs> and, then I, and then I go back to, <laughs> I'm playing my game. <laughs> Yeah, fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thank God I don't have any. Um, yeah, but I, I, I think, I think the, I think the library right now on 3ds is stronger. Um, I think than yeah. any of the hand, even though Switch is, uh, I, I mean, hands down is going to be a, a killer system. Oh, once I, there's more titles on it, but I, so after our first episode, I, I'll give it like m m closer around Christmas. I started looking at titles for switch and the ds i was like man like if you really wanted to get into it like you could play some games there's a lot of games and actually you can and it supports all ds that's, console titles that's too. what's attracted and me to it there's a lot of good jrpgs on on ds i would like to get some of the uh and like there's the there's the virtual console too right i've been looking into that for for 3ds yes um, yeah. All the 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 DSi store is gone, which yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of crap that. games. The only good games digitally are on there was Pokemon, but you can buy them physically. Like, so, but like it, you can play like old like Game Boy Advance games, select Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy mm -hmm. Color and stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah, um, I think there's even like well, I mean they have like they have but NES they have like NES, and, Super NES. Yeah. Um, there's some Sega titles on there too. Yeah. Um, a lot of SNK games. Mm -hmm. From um, what was SNK's so that, console? That's really attracted oh, me no. to getting Can't the 3DS. I, there's a wide range of games I can. And get. you can get them cheap used too. I think like that cost me like maybe one twenty. I think used. Yeah. So and, and it's a collector's version. So okay. But either way, well, were, were you gonna say something real quick? No. All right. Nope. No All right, interest. So in we'll, it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here, let's let now let's so let's move on to this one. Um, so, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. So, uh, what's, what's this? What's what's the deal with? Okay, so it's CD Projekt Red. Yeah. So it's Witcher people, right? Yeah. They've been working on this game since before the Witcher. So did, before the Witcher twenty twelve, I think. So when I I feel like I saw like a teaser for this years ago. Oh, but it was like a two-minute like teaser. It was just to announce the title. Yeah. But they hadn't even developed the engine. They just made a trailer. That's it. Okay. So, uh, but we haven't heard a word from the Twitter page. So they just put out a new tweet, and it said one word. Did you guys see that at all or no? I didn't. It wasn't in that article, but I saw it. I, I, what was it? Beep. Huh. That's uh, it. Like it turning on, like a computer turning yeah, on. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, too, was beep. Like, we're still here, we're still alive, it's not... Or, or like a heart, you know, like a... Yeah, like a heart, some, something to give it some sort of life. And yeah. um, I'm I'm actually really excited because uh, CD Projekt just makes phenomenal, phenomenal games. And I'm excited they're doing something different. Um, I like the, like, Blade Runner-style type worlds. Yeah, where it's like the do. 80s, like, retro-futuristic. I really love... Um, I love the new Blade Runner with um, Ryan Gosley and Ford. and um, So I'm excited to see this. Um, I don't... There's a part of me that... Because I've been trying to stick up with this game, even though there's been no news. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think this is going to be a, a, a PlayStation 4 game. Even though it's only been announced for PC, I mean, like, this generation. I almost think it's going to be PlayStation 5. Like so? whatever next gen is, or like the very very end of this gen, hmm. like twenty twenty, like yes. as the new consoles, like this this will be like the last big title before the new ones come out. Yes. Like when 
when we made the move from PS3 to 4, they made them, like, on both consoles. Like, there yeah. were some games, like, I don't, I was just looking at one game that I knew was on PlayStation 4, and I was looking at, like, what consoles it was on, and it said, like, PS3, and I was like, really? They, I didn't know that was on PS3, too. What, Witcher? Uh, I think it might have been like an Assassin's Creed game. Like, uh, like Assassin's oh, I see what you're Creed saying. Where, like you didn't realize might it was been, on might both. Have been Black yeah. Flag. Black Flag was on both. Yeah. And then they released Rogue right after it too, which was only PS3 and Xbox which, 360. But I, I heard it was great. I heard it was really good. There's, <laughs> a, ru- there's a rumor that they're remastering it for I new gen. Black Flag. That's probably one of. That's yes, one I probably that should go play. One. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm really excited for this game, even though we know. Almost know nothing about. I just I, I like the con- the idea of it. Four Black Flag would be a good one to play because there's no tie-ins with the other games. Really? Besides like Abstergo, but it's like like a yeah you, yeah you could play it without having played. Uh, see, but I want to, and I actually kind of like That's the story. The same a thing bit. with Origins too. Yeah. Well, it's setting everything up. Yeah. But yeah, um, so I, I I really I I hope though that this. Game, I think it, there's a part of me. I, I'm two sided. I I don't know if it will or not come out this gen, but I I'm really looking forward to playing it. Once again, CG Project makes amazing games. I know they have their hands tied with. Uh, they actually own good old games. It's like okay. it's like Steam, but yeah, like yeah. with no uh, DRMs where you always have to log in. Um, and I actually really, even though I haven't bought anything off it, I like the idea of it. It's just. So many things just keep bringing you back to Steam, and good old games doesn't have that, unfortunately. But I hear it does better in Europe, though. So okay. Steam is, Valve is an American company, I believe. So um, I think that kind of helps them out to some degree. So we'll, we'll just jump to the next one. Uh, so. What about. Yeah, we. Uh, I don't know why this is a thing. I don't, I don't think. Uh, you or I in the Xboxes, the OG Xboxes we own had one of these. But so uh, uh, Hyperkin is bringing back the Duke, the, the the big Dukey controller, and it's this it's this ginormous controller. They it was the day one controller for the OG Xbox. That is this ginormous thing that literally your hands feel like this when you're playing it. And I don't get why that was ever a good idea. Like ever, I don't know. so what was their the, thing going to bring it back? Just, just I, I think I think it's a novelty because you realize it's not first party. No, and now Xbox. This is in junction with Xbox, but like obviously since they're using their logos and stuff, I think this is just for nostalgia and stuff like that. And the thing that irritates me the most about this, it's wired. It's so, wired, so it's really and it's seventy dollars. Why? Ooh. And yeah. if you read if you read over the article here, um, it, it's the so there's a middle button which is your home button. Uh-huh. That's all it does, which is fine. But it's an OLED screen that all, that just shows that emblem. Why does there need to be just make it plastic? It doesn't need to be OLED, but apparently like it's like it's as beautiful. Really? Yeah, literally. Where is it here? Uh, in place of the plastic jewel bearing the Xbox logo on the front is an OLED screen which does nothing but play the Xbox startup movie when you play and press. <laughs> That's why it's freaking seventy dollars. Yes, yeah, you're paying for a little piece of OLED this freaking big. And man, I, I really, if they were gonna do this, well, one, I will say I do like that they actually included the. Um, the front shoulder buttons, because on the original Xbox, they that only word, had the, yeah. um, I forget what they call them. With the R, the triggers. Yeah, they're triggers. triggers. That's right. Yeah, it's R, uh, L and RT. Um, but they do have the front uh, bumpers. bumpers. Um, they do have some modern buttons that we can use on your Xbox. But making it wired, I think, is a downfall. If you can modernize the other buttons, you can modernize that. You know, like, mo- like, let's stop. And you know, just um, look, just looking at the control. They remember on the original Xbox controller, we had the white and black button. That's yeah. there. It's, it's, it's there. there. What it's is it there. that they used for? They were used um, for additional buttons in some games. Other games, they weren't used at all. It, 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 it just depends. They were, yeah, there were m- menus and customizing yeah. and like. Why? They they were rarely. It was just. I think in one of the wrestling that. games, uh, it was like a finishing move button. You would tap it, and you can do your finisher or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just. 
it's just like there's there's they added on the new 3ds's they have uh the z buttons and half the once again half the games don't use yeah them. They, it only works on new 3ds games which is which either way we'll direct right into the nintendo direct which happened on thursday which uh kind of caught people off guard but didn't because nintendo was basically teasing it they always do usually a bigger direct in january this is small. This is a mini. That's why it says mini. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And, they, and I, well, no, no. I like that Nintendo actually comes out and says what it is. I, yeah. I really, really like that. Um, and we'll just shoot through these quickly because I know we're really not huge Nintendo people. But, uh, so I think people thought this was going to be a big one and we're hoping for like Smash or a Smash Remix. You got Kirby. Or, oh. I'm not a big <laughs> Smash Brothers person. Like, Neither there's, am I. There's no story. From what I remember, right? I was, I was. I like fighting games. The story, like I think, like Soul Calibur does it really well. Injustice does it amazing. I think, I think for uh, a multi or a playing with friends, it, it was playing with friends, yeah. Because I played a lot of Smash Brothers up in Idaho with my roommates, really? but by myself. Well, they're party no. games. I think, yeah, they're, yeah, I think yeah. they're fun party it's, games. It's a but party game. yeah. but I, there's people who go nuts over it, and I, I can't share the same. I'll, I'll admit. Oh. I don't, I don't play with people because I'm a loser. But <laughs> that's what it is. You're just a loner. That's it. When, but when, when I was in high school, we were like in this engineering technology class, and a few of my friends, we all finished our work for like the rest of the quarter. It was like the last day of the quarters so where we had nothing to do, so we all went into the back room. One of my friends whipped out his laptop. And we all played Super Smash Bros. Okay. Like the like we all had like the, on, controllers. On, on, on we later. Like, yeah. We had, and I'll admit that was a lot of fun. Actually, I saw uh, a friend of mine posted on their Facebook page the other night, and he's like, I guess he was throwing like a little get together with a bunch of friends at his place, and there's like three televisions in his living room, and there's just people with wired GameCube controllers hanging around Wii U's playing Smash, and like. <laughs> I'm excited for them, but I, I can't share any excitement. I'm just like, at first, the first thing I saw was cables. So I was like, ugh. I don't, like, cables. I don't like cables. I don't like cables. I don't like cables. I like being able to be a fat dude in my chair and like lean back and play. And, and then at halftime, I'm like, can't see what's going on. <laughs> and so I lean forward and I'm like, no wonder I have back problems. But I don't know. But either way, but, hey, let's hit, I would say let's like, hit this real quick. I'll admit, just real quick, bef- longest time, the past few weeks, my. I, you know, Xbox controller dies. I got to plug it in to charge it. A couple weeks That's ago. That's why you have 20 backups. A couple weeks go by, and I just haven't unplugged it. I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I didn't even notice it was still plugged in. I got. I have a little Halo dock, and it, like, sits on the little, or standy, or whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. So, we'll just hit the top right here. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this game, but uh, The World Ends With You Remix. Uh, so, this is a DS game. Yes, it's being re-released. I never played it. I think it, some of the guys who who helped with one of the Kingdom Hearts DS games yeah. helped make this game. It's supposed to be really good. I just never played it. Did you Did you play it? I I never played it, but I read and watched so many reviews on it because you wanted to because I wanted to play it. I I actually think I might try and dabble with this, but I just it's not going to be. I just I just don't have time. Um. Another, and once again, I'm a big Pokemon fan, but really I, I think I'm more like, I like all of the more um, original games, but the new, uh, the the people who make Tekken made a Pokemon tournament, and they have more DLC coming out, which is great. Uh, so one of the bigger titles is going to be, now these are all games that are coming out first quarter. Yeah. And to me, this isn't enough. Um, no. Or no, this is, this is up to E3, actually, I think. Which oh, is okay. so E3. So that's second definitely, quarter. yeah, it's like yeah. one and a half. Is it May? E3's June. June? Yeah, right, right first week of June. Um, so I don't think it's enough for that. But no. But we'll see. Um, so the Kirby game, I think, I mean, your, your avid Nintendo fans, I think, are going to like this. Uh, the guy who works on Kirby and Smash Brothers, uh, I believe, is also making this game with Kirby and his friends. So I think it's just more Kirby. Uh, once again, I'm a Kirby guy. It's, it's hard for me to really talk on this. Um, they're releasing a, uh, like a deluxe definitive edition of, uh, Hyrule Warriors, which is the Dynasty Warriors Zelda game, which, um, 
I, I'm going to admit, I actually like playing Dynasty Warrior games, even though I don't think they're good. Uh, yeah. I like them. I probably like from yeah. an artistic, because you're playing me like, this game is beautiful. Like, I love it just from an arts perspective to where I'm like, probably only going to play an hour or two of this game. Worth it. <laughs> and, <laughs> Jesus. But no, I like I said, I like it strictly from, and actually the, the stories are okay. Um, I've only played like... Well, it's like it's two. It's a spinoff of the uh, like it's a fictional account of the romancing of the three kings, okay. Like series, so like it's at least I be- at least it was. I don't know if it is anymore, but um, toward like there's a three major families in, in yeah. Asia that all went at it back in the day to you know for supremacy of like the area of like China and uh, what do you know, China and Mongolia like a whole that whole yeah. area, and so. It kind of that was on that, but Dynasty Warriors is like a really fictional version of it, to where they start getting into like fantasy and stuff too, but not not too much, but they do. Um, but Hyrule Warriors is just that gameplay style, that Dynasty Warriors style, yeah. In it, um, I, I, I mean, it's cool, but this and you had Fire Emblem Warriors also, and I almost would be yeah. like Nintendo, come on, like let's. I believe it might have even been the same team. So really, they just like reskinned a game and shoved it back out. And I mean, this could mean just be being ignorant, but like this is my perception. And like, so even if I if I am being ignorant, and that's not the real case, that's how I'm perceiving this. As Nintendo, within one year, has put out a game that has some of the same verbiage in the title and same gameplay, just different worlds. That's not interesting to me. Yeah. Well, with. Kind of, I, I I never kind played of the same with uh, sports games. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I think that's why. I, I I think I think to an extent when they weren't annualized, um, and they end up becoming like the end of Genesis. But Genesis was like the place to play sports games because they the type of chipset that it had and how much faster they can move. But like um, when it was just quarterback club and you get it, or it'd be like uh, Joe Montana football. Like those games were fantastic. But then they started annualizing them, and I think the quality even from then, start dropping down. And then as the years go on, you know, you're left... Basically, one guy was going to reign supreme, which ended up being Madden. But there just isn't... When you analyze, analyze these games, you're not... I mean, look at look at um, Assassin's Creed. I don't think... I, I, I think the reason uh, Origins is so good is because the studio had two years, or three years, to make yeah, a game. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of their normal two. And then if, if you go on the other end of it, you know that's that's the same also that you know look at call it if if you were to take give these studios an extra year that means they have four years to make a call of duty game and i bet you those games would be awesome probably yeah. instead of like and I, i'm not saying they're not great games that's why that's but why uh, battlefield just got better yeah, well it's also we, different we, we it's also very the, different we didn't get a new battlefield game this year we just got like some dlc no 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 you got battlefront it's battlefront battlefield that there's the they're made by the same. Uh, it's the same people. That's true. It's just reskins. But oh, there's oh. there is already rumors coming out about what this year's battlefield is supposed to be. It's not going to be a numbered one. It's it's supposed to be something kind of like how they had hard lines. There's, the rumor is it's going to be bad. It's going to be another bad company. Which be bad company I three. Love that. That company. might be. I didn't play bad company. That might be was bad. Awesome. Bad company oh, was good. Okay. Bad, yeah. bad company one was good, but then bad company two phenomenal. Was Awesome. Yeah. That really? Was, that was fun. awesome. I'm not. I'm not big into shooters. I had fun on that one. I like. I like shooters. I'm just not good at them. That's the. And then I, you know, that's the reality of like trying to play Wolfenstein. It, and actually, I love it because it's a single player shooter. You know, it's not online at all. But man, do those games? The shooters just kick my ass. Like they really, really do. So I'm not good at them. Wolfenstein. I do find harder than other shooters. Yeah, I, I think it is that old school like punishing. Kind of like PC shooter mentality kind of thing. Um, so th- this is this is going to be Nintendo's big title, I think, before E3. Uh, even though I don't think it's a huge title, I think it will still do well. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Um, the one cool you thing about... You don't, you don't think the, uh, the Mario and Rabbids thing is going to be bigger? Well, Mario and Rabbids, that's just extra DLC. That's just extra content. Uh, okay. That's already out. That's, okay. that's really good, though, by the way. Because if you like XCOM... Mm-hmm. Um, you're really gonna like that game because because I like I like some of the rabbit 
the well, this, yeah, this so it has this, it has like the zaniness yeah. of the rabbits game still. To where like there's a rabbit and like a Princess Peach like yeah. dress kind of yeah. running around. It's really funny and uh, but it's not and it's just it's not. I hate, I hate to say it, um, but it's it's not it's not a normal rabbits game. It it is no, it no it's feels not, like no. XCOM. It really does. Actually, it beat out XCOM with a lot of people's um, really uh, tact like tactics kind of strategy game of the year. Do so. you think the tennis is gonna be bigger than Kirby? Maybe yes, by far. It's Mrs. Mario. Anything that says Mario is better. Well, I, I like to I, some degree. I didn't read this article, but it said that it's going to have a story. Yeah, it's got a story and slight RPG elements to to it too. So I think that's going to be a really big uh, beneficiary with trying to push it over. Yeah, because if, if it has a story and like RPG elements, I might play Mario Dennis. Yeah, I mean, same. Um, they also announced a new. I didn't get a chance because the video went load right. Uh, it's a new uh, Ease game is i believe is how you pronounce that actually uh ease eight which it seems like it might be a side story because is there, it? aren't they a, already past yeah, eight i, I think, thought they were I, closer I, to 10 i think they are i've never played an ease i've always wanted to um but they're everywhere because the game started mm-hmm. out on turbo graphics i believe like the first one like one and two were on turbo graphics and then it's just kind of like then they were on like nintendo and like they jumped around yeah and so like it's kind of hard to like tie them down, but this is this is a return to Nintendo um, for ease, which I think is exciting because the last one was on Vita, I think, I think um, so. and like there was one on PC. So I'm excited to see this. I need really want to look more into it. Uh, Breakout Balloons. I've it's just some sort of DLC mini game apparently in uh, the new Mario game. Uh, there is an SNK uh, Heroines, which looks actually kind of cool. It looks like a Tekken tag team style with all the SNK guys. Uh, to where they hop- so you have, you pick a team of two people and they hop in and out during your fighting, which is really cool. Okay. And then just more DLC for the um, the Kingdom Battles game. So I I think there's some decent stuff. I don't think there's anything huge. Nope. There's a rumor that there may be another direct on the 25th, but that's going to go over virtual console and online service for later this year. So and that's what I wanted out of this direct. Maybe the Switch will finally get a virtual console. The- that they really, and this is why I think Switch was rushed because it, I think it would sell better and more. Like the concerts are selling well because you have Mario and Zelda. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would, like software wise, uh, do game busters if that virtual console is on there. It would. One minute before. Yo yo. Hour. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. So we're here. We'll, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, we're getting the, the show call here. So uh, let's let's hit our forgotten games. Um, did you guys pick one for this week? I did. What do you got? I'll go with uh, mine, going back uh, to my early childhood video games, to the racing game that started it all with all the obsession, Nigel Mansell. Oh, the Mario that's, Kart. That's not... World Championship. No. Back on oh, the site. I think I which, do remember... Which, which game were you thinking I, of? And then you have the three different cars that you can choose from, right? That was that was Mario and Dreddy. That's one of the things. That was a great racing that was, game, that was, That's that the one was I love. Uh, the Nigel Mansell game was before that because I never, I, I never, that. because I never owned it. I rented it a lot. Re- was it was it that remember that really like dark like video store we used to go to as a kid? I think it was was it in Pasco or was it in yeah. Dunedin? Yeah, it was in Pasco, but that was one of the stores I would rent that game from. Yeah. They they always had great selections of they like did. Sega. Like they had a giant. It had to be like a sixteen foot wall of Sega games. It was wonderful. It was it was it was endless. How many games? But that's my forgotten game. What 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 makes it so great? Uh only because. Uh, or is it just like a, a memory thing? Uh one a memory thing. Two being um, that it actually had uh, Formula One. It had all the Formula One tracks. Um, you could only be uh, Nigel Mansell in the game, but you got to be in the Williams race car. I don't remember if the um, drivers you raced against had the licensed names but they were edited so much that you can tell oh okay this is this is so and so yeah i'm racing against but it was fun to me because this it was uh actual and, race tracks that and could race on. i think racing games well, one just sports title in general but that they, they were home on genesis because of how yeah. the physics that they the physics engines that they made to make sonic work really well which is a shame that they always push sonic when they really shouldn't be pushing Racing titles, Madden. I mean, they should have been pushing those. I think they would have been more successful. But what is uh, what is your forgotten game? 
I actually didn't have one until we started talking. Because <laughs> okay. I, 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 I was trying to think of one. I just couldn't think of one. There was, there's so many. But you while think of. we were talking. And then it doesn't have to be something like super rare. It can just no, be something no, that's no. not really brought up on much, you know, anymore. Um Pokemon I, Snap. I loved Final Fantasy II. Two? Two. I don't think I've actually dived into two that much, but that's supposed to be like a super because oh they have the really good job classes in that one. Mm-hmm. That like two really was like the first defining like, final. And season. surprisingly, it had a good story. Mm-hmm. I, I it's it's been one, a good ten one years. years story. I've, it's been a good ten years. I, since I, played I it, but which did you play the Donna Souls one or which, where did you play it? Where do you remember it? I. I Played it on, I think it was the Don, the whichever one was the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it's the Donna Souls version, yeah. which I think might be the best, the best version of it. So I, I I only played maybe one or two hours of of that one, and mine was an uh, emulator. Yeah. I th- I think I played it on. It was the PlayStation One. Um, what do they call it? I think it was Final Fantasy Origins, and you had one and two on it. So yeah. these really cool cutscenes in it um, yeah. that were not in any of the other versions at all. Um, but I don't feel like it was how they kind of like touched it up yeah. was as good as the that version or even the PSP version personally. I, there's only two parts I actually I remember the final boss fight because I remember just having to just reload my save multiple times in order Done to it. beat it, and like it was like in the middle of the game or like near the end of the game, one of the characters dies, and I'm, I was like, oh no. I do. I get, do. Anytime, like anybody in your party or character like dies, I'm just <gasps> like the whole like ripping here, dude. I think you and I had a moment once because uh, you and I are big uh, uh, darkness fans. Darkness. The darkness. Where the oh, things yes, 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 where yes, Jenny yes. dies. Or where... <laughs> yes. Have you played the darkness at all? I have. It's I this have weird not. combination of, that, like, you're like this almost like Godfather to where like you're this dude who has a mafia family. But you're like, a, like a really pale Italian guy with like really long straight black hair, and but he uh, he's like adopted. He, he was adopted. Oh, was he? Th- I don't remember that because yeah. like I remember like you have like your typical like mob looking dudes, and then there's him who looks like he should be in like like a Swedish heavy metal so band. Like him, him, and, <laughs> him and Jenny grew up in the yeah. like foster care. So. But, oh, ba- but basically, his his little girlfriend that he had these mobsters like killer to get back at your family but then you're like becoming possessed by these like snake demon things okay and they like launch out of your back and they like they go on the ground and like it's, eat people's hearts and it's it's, it's actually surprisingly really good it's based yeah. off a comic okay. the comic's really good too yeah i i comic's I, serious i ha- yeah i love the comic hmm. good. but we won't uh, we, we won't uh, dive in it's it's actually a good game um but it, i think it's an acquired taste though personally but either way, my forgotten game though is Catherine. I don't know if you guys have played Catherine. Yes. I played a yes. demo. I, I played all the way through and beat it. Uh, same. A few years ago. I no, What ending did you get? I don't remember. I, I got no one. To where my ending, the blonde ended up being fictional, which I hear is just in my ending. And... And then, so you're telling your real fiancé, Catherine, that, like, yeah, I cheated on you, all this. She, like, freaks out. It's like, well, fine, I'm leaving you. And then... Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, like your friends are, you're like, yeah, who have you been talking to this whole time? Kind of thing, like, and it hasn't been like a real oh, person. Really? It's been your head. But there is another ending where she is real or something like that. There's like three or four endings. I honestly don't remember my ending. But it it's it was made by the same people who made Persona three, four, five. It's yeah. the same. I didn't care for the demo. I'm sure. Oh, probably, really? Yeah, probably. The stories. I didn't actually. I didn't really care for it at first because I don't like puzzle games and you mm-hmm. have to do that block puzzle thing. And I was like, man, this is stupid. But I love the story so much, I'm like, gonna push through it. And then by the end, I'm like a freaking beast doing the boss. I'm like, <laughs> like, dude, I was like at the end. But it was hard. It was really yeah. hard. But uh, either way, I think uh, I think those are all great games. Uh, I think it's a game that will define us a little bit. But uh, thank you, everybody, for viewing, even though this is still just a beta episode. I know we'll probably give it out to uh, a friend or two to listen to. But this has been beta episode number two for Super... Gamecast Bros. Super Gamecast Bros. Um, which I'm sure we'll try and find some other uh, podcasts to do also. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and we look forward to podcasting for you soon. Episode 3, coming soon.